You can't dodge me. Can't get away from it. I know when you buy new knives, pro <laughs> players. I know when you're spending your money. He's in the skinventories. I'm keeping an eye on you. And we should all be keeping an eye on the screens because... Game on! Fight! Map 2 between Astralis and Na'Vi. It's not for elimination, but it is for a match versus Vitality, and who wouldn't want a piece of that? Door busted open. Dupree on the ladder with a knife out. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're down. Okay, we're looking for a plant. That's awkward. He just yeah. stared down the vent. It was, seemed like a pretty good situation for Dupree. It was at this moment I realized I had to run away. I done goofed. Device gonna find himself a headshot alongside Bubski, so definitely a recoverable situation. Clearly, Magis gonna immediately jump onto that defuse for a second. That elicits more of a peek, and it goes just as poorly as the first one did. Magis now just gonna stick this the distance, and Electronic, you can just go save. Round's over, bud. No choice. No choice. A little kill at the end, but a quick defuse, a fast retake, really, pushing through the ramp. It comes down to those first couple of kills, but no better time to push than when somebody is planting. If you do find that opportunity, and of course, you've just got to stop them from coming in, but they couldn't do that. <laughs> and that's a pretty good kill from Bubski as the door opens in his face. Ast Astralis will be up 1-0, to zero, and Navi, because of that plant, will just look to buy on round number three. Pretty funny interaction there in the vents. Off the pistol. A little goofy? I mean, getting the plant is the big win anyway. Okay, what do you think? Will they clear him? Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh, is that gonna... Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> That's all the money. More of that. Glaive then peeks out into Electronic, so that's the two-man advantage for Astralis, made easy by Utility. And Device gonna drop a couple shots here, getting pressured, trying to dive away from what could be his own death. Glaive's gonna get aggressive inside of the lobby, should catch the bomb carry. You're, you're Flamey. Welcome back, Flamey. Nice Good to, to have, have you back. Here. Yeah. MP9 kill from Dupree as they slowly skate down the ramp. So, Navi, they are kind of expected to be walking into these positions. And Flamey made a lot of sound, so they know exactly where he's at. Never was able to pick up the rifle either, so still working with the Deeg. But he misses his chance at the headshot versus Dupree at Astralis. That's the 2-0 start. Mm. Clean stuff. So what's the buy going to entail? This, Nate, let's follow it. Oof, perfectly placed. After, uh, I think, an initial grenade that did the brunt of the damage, the follow-up one, was all they needed for the kill, even though it was a little bit high here. So, a couple, a few, four Galils, went from a couple to a few to a four, to complement the AK on Electronic. There's not going to be many upgrades here for Astralis, of course. Don't lose players, don't need to upgrade on a round like this. Still, I'd say pretty even chances. Glaive in a playmaker position. Outside tucked in the inside of red. Surely they think about clearing this. It looks like maybe not quite yet. Is there someone still on top of me is the question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Boomich will grab that frag. Well, this is a quick round here for Na'Vi. Nice change of pace. Definitely looking up now. This is being held, of course, by Perfecto. Easy kill versus Dupree. Only Magisk left over. Yes. That's all they needed, Launders. A little change of pace, a little, little tempo swap. Sure, I don't even know how everybody died there. Device dies, it looks like... I guess he dies holding Heaven from the Red Cross. And, um... Yeah, very charitable of Glaive. Question. When the map veto was coming through, we saw the look of disbelief by one Jacob Pimp Vinicky. Okay. Are you as... Shocked. Oh, like picking into Nuke? Yeah, picking into Nuke versus Astralis. Are you as shocked? Are you shook? Not, Are you tilted? Not quite as much, no. Okay. I, I I, mean, I get it. It makes sense. It's it's, a, it's just tough, but I mean, it's just an all-around tough veto. And I think sometimes at this level with this much baggage, you know, this much history between the two, 
there's sp specific preparations that might make you feel more confident than someone else coming into a pick nuke against Astralis. I don't think they're infallible on nuke. Even Godsent handed them a loss recently on nuke. But they are the best nuke team in the world after all. But uh, I think, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's an all-around tough veto between these two because of how well they know each other. And, um... Maybe there were slightly better picks, but if there was some stuff that Nobby have been developing recently on Nuke, maybe that's why they wanted to take it here. So no, I'm not quite as shocked. Here was the play from Glaive, catching the first player, almost getting away here, but Boomich just taking his time, hunting his prey. Yeah. And then continuing on to wrap around towards hell. So is there a buyback? Astralis money not in the best of spots. Oh, it's in a terrible spot. No investment. No, they're just going to use the AUG and let the AUG rip. Well, the AUGs are against them. First kill belongs to Magisk. There's nobody else even with Kevlar to try and take this gun off of him to really have a fighting chance. So it would be a bit of a miracle if the USPs could catch their kills. Very nice way to clear stuff out. They've got the vent drop going on. USP to down. follow up. But Boomich is making his way. Okay, he's coming back in. Oh my god, if he catches the timing here. Well, no, it's fine. The reaction is there. Boomich kills Glaive, who came to suss him out. Now some of the CTs will start to... I guess they're crowded up around ramp more than anything else. And Navi are here to try to figure out where they have stacked. But no pressure on them to move too quickly. One thing we'll see from Na'Vi in this half is maybe Perfecto. I mean, I guess it depends what they think about a ramp now. Because I know that Perfecto sometimes will go for the Lurks entries out ramp. He'll try to fight it by himself. But uh, because there's Bubski now, kind of an unknown quantity for Na'Vi, we don't know if they're going to tailor their strategies to account for that. We've seen. I feel like some of the teams, the two teams we've seen play Nuke versus Astralis, they didn't test Bubski quite that much. That's a fair assessment. Shot, push, 25 push seconds. Aside. Yeah, yeah, that's this one uh, really down to the wire. Magisk gonna catch another headshot off of the AUG, so that's all they really had left. If only he had more HP. There could have been a chance at the multi-kill, or if Navi had played it really down to the wire, then a matter of timing. But uh, USP is gonna be looking for the exit kills here, hoping to chip away at the money, maybe save an AK, get back that AUG for Magisk, perhaps. Dupree... He's just chilling out on the ladder. Flamey's gonna come into lobby. Better clear all your corners. Dupree's still up there. Oop, just saw his feet. Howdy, partner. Down he goes. Navi, easy second round once they clamp into the A site. Tastralis has turned to buy back. Well, sweet. Okay, so a couple of kills. Actually, three, in fact, and oh, maybe another. Four down, and Keep the trade comes in from Simple, but one alive means it was a very expensive round for Navi, considering they were only going up against an AUG and a few supporting Universal Super Pistols. What was it called? What was the actual? What's the USPS stand for? Universal Self-Loading. Uniloading. <laughs> oh, Universal <laughs> Loading. Unibrow oh. Sucker <laughs> Punch. Well, that's like a Twitch clip name. Yeah. <laughs> a URL. All right. Two ops. Bubski's opping. Oh, my goodness. You love to see it. Let's see how this one goes. It's going to be another fast clash if Navi have anything to say about it. Electronic already going to try to get out from hot. It gets shot down. Oof. Total collapse of the offense. Only leaves simple 1v4. He's got a minute 30 to work this clutch. Oh, he, Bubski may be delivering up to him. It's the Bubs. No. Hits his shot through that narrow gap between the doorways. Astralis right back on the board. Well, that's just the exodus of the T's. They come out. They get sprayed down. I mean, Magisk's, Magisk is a beast from this position. And, oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. That too. Yes. This the is, easiest well, kill is actually the only one we... Oh, he's okay. doing some math. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have run through smoke. <laughs> <laughs> if they shoot us in the head, we die. That's why, he, that's why he gets paid the big bucks. Damn, Flamey's looking healthy. You see the yeah. cheekbones and everything? He's looking like um, Johnny Bravo almost. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, we're gonna attack timeout called here for Navi. Blade did the math. 
upper exec, not the greatest. Maybe because of a flash that was missed that didn't blind Magisk, Magisk enough. That really now was I'm mixing up Magisk yeah. and Magisk. That really was the most exaggerated, like calculating face I've ever seen. And he did that, Blade. you know, it is like just. It's like I'm on camera. I've, I've, I'll convince them I'm I'm up to something. <laughs> Love to know where his mind was going there. All right. Pistols. Well, Two Tech Nines and a Deeg. Yeah, Flamey's got a Flamey and Simple have AKs at least. Game on. We got a game. I feel like we got a game. Think so. Yeah. Two ops still. I want a game. Let's see if they. I mean, they have enough nades where they could take outside, take it to the outsides. Maybe try to perform a, some kind of ramp. They now know about Bubsky's op, but they don't necessarily know about devices, though I'm sure they would expect Bubsky's not the sole op on the round. And Electronic, he's been used as a lurk. We saw him lurking a lot on Inferno. I'm always going to slip through I mini mean, by the looks of it. Right, oh, I thought he was right behind Dupree. This actually puts Magisk in a bit of an awful spot. So he falls down oh. into the Molotov. And sure enough, still gets blindsided from mini. Oh, 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 he's blind. And it doesn't even stop him. Electronic single-handedly taking down that A site as Boomage catches Glaive attempting to eject up the vents. How'd he get that second kill? Well, hey, that worked out quite well. I mean, to be fair to him, to give him full credit. Knows the position. He came out free-firing it. He knew where he was shooting, he just couldn't see it. Well, right back onto the scoreboard, Naviar. Not bad at all, with just two AKs on that one. But it was really just all the Tech-9 that they needed. The lurk that uh, Electronic pulled off worked out so well, especially because I think he shoots uh, Magisk in the side of the head right here. Yeah, right, that's oh, just man. the two-tap. Lethal two-tap. Plus the spray and then beautiful lineup. I mean, he really... I feel like he would have hit him with every bullet after that point. So I want to give him full credit for this one. A+. plus. It's your play to grade, coach. Dupree is tired. <laughs> okay. Mag oh, okay, I thought Magisk was opping. Two UMPs on this one, Glaive and Magisk. Another one, this is gonna be fast too. I can see it. I can feel it. Already out through Squeaky. Look at this, Ace sight all on the shoulders of Dupree. Oh, but a double frag. That's big. Where's that come from? Mini, it seems. Gonna have to get that one oh queued God. up to the highlight reel. Man oh advantage God. for Astralis, and these op shots are just zinging by simple. But he gets away unscathed. Magis gonna go for the heaven smoke. Plume that bad boy. It's gonna let him challenge into the site. Molotov comes back from electronic. Bubski. He's sitting down inside of the vents. Flash goes high. Boomich has to look away from it. UMP falls from the heavens. And Glaive's trying to find an angle. Great distraction coming out of Bubski, but it's Electronic versus Glaive. Ump versus AK. Molotov on the play. And that's going to be enough to win it. Navi, fourth T round is theirs. An absolute bash onto that A bomb site. Only made possible in any comeback attempt because of that double frag kill. So I'm curious to see how on the money. It really was. And where did Glaive's damage come from? So we're going to see, I guess, Glaive, that's him shooting through many at this point. Oh, he yep. hits them both down to half, and then boop, the glorious nade. Oh, my God. It lands so perfectly between, right between the two. Them. Like a bouncing Betty. Like Zach Galifianakis in between a couple of ferns right there. Straight in the center. And we've got Astralis back with a single AK, thanks to Glaive save. Deagle. And a trio of USPs. That AK-47 tagged to 58 and unable to catch an opening kill. I like this little bit of aggression from Navi. Okay. Well, not every day you see Glaive lose that fight. And now the AK is behind enemy lines. We've got the... Uh, we've got the... Diagonal smokes coming out with the L smokes, diagonal smokes, standard smokes. The diagonal smokes come out, the lurk down to lower. They've taken a lot of time on the on these rounds to just make sure they don't run into a site stack. Yeah. 
And, um, you know, Na'Vi are... Oof. They, they have been known to, to lose to the clock every once in a while. So we'll see if that's going to be an issue for them here. Definitely you're most scared when a USB, USB gets a kill like that. Father Time playing against them. Oh, okay. But Bubski making a big ruckus. Perfecto doubling down on these measly pistol players. Where are the last two at? We've got Device. He's down over towards Secret and Dupree wrapping around from Trophy. So sure enough, the Deagle Peak could deliver something, but a missed shot and Simple's going to easily recover. 20 seconds, so yet again, yeah, really playing against the time. But it's all calculated. Meticulous decisions. Final frag comes the way of Perfecto, and that's five to Navi's T-side. Three rounds in a row. It's like Pimp said, we see some good starts from Navi, but when the game gets tight at the end, it's where it's where Astralis get the best, right? It's where the Glaive IGLing, you can really see it come into fruition when the game gets very difficult. You can see him pull out that one very key round, call out the play that he sees, continues to work, and then that's where Astralis will really take a stronghold in the map. Um, we don't know if that's going to be necessary on this one. Surprised and impressed by how many good upper explodes have come here for, for Na'Vi. And now the map starts to evolve a little bit. They've got the smokes outside and a late cross. Glaive trying to stop the lurk. He's seen this before. Electronic, he got on the inside of this kill. And Boomich is trying to assist. Yeah, he knows that that flash is not for himself. Electronic slipped around the garage. Yeah, this could be the play. Ooh, Glaive, Glaive walks back. Yep. Oh no, he oh, gets into cover. No. He's barely alive, but obviously a little flashbang out. Electronic's gonna no eat it. Glaive way. recovers. Excellent recovery coming out of Glaive. Even took the peak to bait him into shooting and looking forward. And Dupree gets his kill. This is all about Glaive. Vice gonna support Bubski so he can pop back up to close this. All five players standing for Astralis. Big moment for Glaive. He absolutely needed to peak too to take that risk, even though he was within one bullet of dying. Oh, this is enormous. See how he just does that, and then boom. Yep. Locks Electronic into it, so the flash hits him in the face. Oof. Glaive? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Enjoy yourself. Spoil yourself. Double op setup between Device and Bubski yet again. We just saw Bubski on an AUG. But, uh, can't turn away a second sniper, it seems. Wall of Smoke's up yet again. Glaive on the other side of it. Gonna have to try and plug that oh, hole yeah. in the smokes. Making these smokes up as they go. Player on mini, though. Should be about to walk into Glaive, I think. It's close. They're right on the cusp. Yeah, my goodness. The way that they're approaching is pretty hard to read, I'd say. So this could work out well, but they've got Bubski and Lower already. Nobody's picking up ramp right now, which is a gap in the defense. Perfecto, he's close to it. But it depends. If they wait long enough, Astralis are going to get a bit paranoid and try to support ramp or have Bubski come back. So, let's kind of leave upper in a weird spot. This is a very oh, interesting hey. situation. Ooh, Glaive sees a bit too much there on top of mini. Smoke grenade, little blue. Bubski's still staying patient, which is good. But there are still angles to be watched here. There are fights on many fronts. But they were wow. all waiting to unfold until right about now. Bubski, he's going to catch that op shot down in secret as we watch Device fall off of the ramp room. But he also does still stick around. It's Flamey to first challenge him. Plucked from the sky. Nice shot from Device as he hops across the bomb site. Simple's going to catch him in the open. And Bubski, well, not quite sure where or what to watch. Navi, bomb planted in the two versus four. Oh. Bubski's going to find that kill through the wall. And Simple on 20 HP runs back towards control. Frag grenade oh. finds him like a homing missile. <laughs> that thing just rolls across the floorboards. Magisk takes the defuse. And Astralis tie at five. Shout out to Bubski for a great round. Getting the pick on lower staying real patient about that late lurk. I actually thought this round was very cool from Navi. They had hooks in a bunch of different places. They were maintaining this pressure, potentially at ramp, outside, lower all the same time. Weird things, a couple of smokes felt like they were missed or slightly off, and I can't tell if they were on purpose or not. 
And then, um, and, but in every location, you have to give credit to Astralis. They maintained all of the right pressure. They didn't like freak out and over rotate and overemphasize on one position. Instead, they let everybody rest. And that made it very difficult, especially, I think it was Glaze kill that just illuminated the rest of the round there for Astralis, seeing one lurk come out. So now it's just pistols as Astralis look to take a lead. Waiting for the peak from Device as Magisk is the first man to fall for Astralis and even blind. Device is going to catch that kill. However, Flamey with another answer off of the Deagle. Perfecto's going to tuck into the cover. Flamey exchanges damage with Device but comes out worse for wear. And uh-oh, Bubski. USP betrays him in the pistol fight, but Glaive almost able to recover it all. Bomb now spotted and Device is on his own. Perfecto with an AWP is in the open. Pistol fight again. Just going back and forth here, leaving Device versus Electronic. AWP versus... Scout, Tech-9 okay. versus USP. Oh my god, he just barely dodges Electronic. Bomb's I like the roadside of Mini. Oh, wow. I'm what? sure of it. Wait, so this is so weird because... Yeah. Electron Bomb's on vent. He's gonna back up into device. Okay, his device is dead. Okay. All right, that makes sense. At least Electronic heard him, he knew where he was, he walked up on him, he hunted him down. It's fine, he got the kill. Could have gotten weird there. Device didn't really know where to go. He was sitting, just waiting for a reaction. Maybe off of some information, but... Electronic had him. Had him. Okay, so... Weird one. Yes. The unscrew of the U.S. That's tough. I wish you could... I actually wish you could unbind just that. I feel like we have never talked about unscrewing USP silencers until tonight. Twice tonight. Where it has actually been a problem. Flamey. Oh. With the Juan Dig. He definitely has a... Powerful Deagle. He's feeling good about that. Yep. Navi should be feeling good about that. That's a nice little robbery of a round here. Keeps Astralis on the back foot with this CT side as it was looking like those defensive rounds were going to start rolling. But two in a row for Astralis. Now a chance for Navi to take it back. Navi with the better economy. Navi with the better buy. Device glass cannon in this 12th round. Let's see it. Bubski, he's going to waste no time. Oh, dude, this is so fast. Holy hell. Perfecto's going to be rounding this, but Bubski hits him with the Deeg. Kicks in his teeth, up close and personal. Well, that's a pretty scary spot already. They look to reclaim heaven, it looks like. Dupree will get put up top. Three on five situation, and Flamey doesn't know what to do with himself. There are three in lobby. He's here to try to protect these AKs if possible. CT's in a pretty powerful spot following a Tech 9 Eco from Navi. Looks like the momentum will potentially swing right back. What can be done here for Navi? 50 seconds to decide. Still all the utility they need, so a few smoke grenades outdoors. Device all the way back. Caught. That's for free. Okay. And is this just where they putter to a halt? These rounds are quite quiet from Navi. Their T sides are slow. Um. Oh, oh. There's a lot of lurking going on. And you know what? It's it's worked some of the time. So we'll see what happens now. Over. Okay, Glaive. Yeah, he's in the position to just shut everything down. But they go over to the double doors. 10 seconds, five seconds left to clear this position and Glaive, easy execute. Bubski's now got one distracted, so he blasts Simple's head off. And Astralis right back up to six. Sometimes we see Navi completely smash into the defense. Other rounds, they get into these bits of prolonged walk arounds, but this was because Astralis took the fight to them. Mm -hmm. Glaive opening kill on Silo. Bubski making the most of that deagle on the side of the smoke. And we see that second op now in the hands of Dupree as opposed to Bubski. I kind of felt like Bubski, maybe he doesn't need an op. That's sure. how he's doing. He did, he did good. He did good. But uh, maybe he doesn't need an op there on ramp. I mean, I don't know where Dupree is playing from now, but it does make the ramp a little bit tricky 
I'd, yeah. I'd say. And off of the back of that last like, round's a success, now he can do it again with a gun. And device is your rotator support, right? So sometimes, you know, if you're, you're just double lopping it, basically, and that's kind of a strange combination. But he definitely does well with a rifle as well. Although not uncommon to op ramp. Sure enough. At all. Opens up the aggressive options, though. Glaive finds Boomich from beneath. 1T attempting a potential cross. Perfecto just trying to bait out here just in case Bubski is still opping, but we know that's not the case. AK meant to spray into two. It's simple. The god on the AK. The raid boss. Perfecto's going to be able to snatch himself a second rifle. 40 seconds. Glaive opens up the door, sees Perfecto at a distance. Simple still above the site. Now down to just 30. Simple trying to challenge Magus. He can get caught by secret, but oh! Electronic, he had his back turned. Not ideal. 20 seconds. Bomb needs to be picked back up. Perfecto! He's going to get into the kill feed. It's Glaive and Dupree versus Electronic and Perfecto. Everybody's got the rifles they need, and the bomb is now planted. Perfecto, another! Frag grenade goes deep. That should clear him up. And now Glaive just has to focus on the head of Electronic. He's right there, and he Ooh. finds it. Sticks the landing. Damn, that's a boss move. He just actually waits for that long. Eventually, we've got Perfecto, sorry, Electronic scared about somebody who's walking out to his right or left. You're thinking, why does he peek? Well, because he doesn't know if Glaive is actually just flanking him completely. So puts a ton of pressure, keeps eyes on both sides. Even doubts himself for a cool second there, but uh, for Electronic, he's completely without information. Look at Perfecto work here. Beautiful couple of kills. Oh, wow, that one tap into Decon on top of all of it, and then uh, the 1v1 ultimately gets won by Glaive. 1v2, actually. Beautiful stuff. They pull that off, and in terms of... There's a uh, buy from both sides. We're not going to have the op on the T side. A small lead for Astralis here, for what it's worth. Once again, a very competitive first half. The device starts to light it up a bit. He's got a kill outside. A nade looking to land in the right spot. Goes a bit high and dry. Boom, Mitch takes a little bit of damage. And Glaive, as per usual, in the playmaker position, out in the open, trying to find the duels outside. Simple will best him with just the AK. Dupree looks to refresh his position. I thought for a second this was Bubsky. <laughs> Over by the vending machines. Perfecto holding for the push. There's no threat of uh, oh, an outside take. Or, sorry, uh, a, an outside wrap. Yo, lobby could just turn into a vacuum oh, here man, for this the is CTs. Be, uh, yeah. Perfecto's on the half wall, but Bubsky, he just got Surely his attention snapped that. over. Then Magis comes in from Hut. This is a three pronged assault. Simple, he comes down off of the rooftop. Tr oh, tried to shoot him through the floorboards. Bubsky able to deliver alongside Device. It's so nice. Flamey. All that is left over. His entire team felt like it was ahead of him. And then Flamey, one after another, watched them topple the Stralis with an eighth round, coming at that from all angles. Well, yeah, the multi-pronged pincer move. I, it's just like Navi are giving them uh, enough time. They're like, well, we slowly move in and handle things meticulously. We feel pretty confident pressurizing and eventually hitting this lobby. They believe in their aim there, and it's just too much pressure. And you can see Simple just really wanted to help his teammate out peeking, so he sprayed early. was a good effort but it's not enough we're coming into round 15 now we're back to tech nines navi have steered slightly away from the upper execs that we saw early on in the half that got them to a good position in the half but since then slowed the round down and tried to be hard to read on the seat side i think that's the most defining feature you know kind of be everywhere and nowhere at once i feel you Electronic feels like he could pressure Hut. Glaive kind of stuck between two positions. Can't really recover. Not with Boomich on that double tech nine kill. Device with the Deagle, but it's Dupree from the Rafters and Simple. Oh, but oh Bubsky's right there in there. Nine rounds for Astralis. Bubsky, the Vent Goblin, ends up working out. Join us after the break. Oh, no. 
Empire series. This is not perfect Counter-Strike going on, but it's entertaining, it's action-packed, and the firepower is undoubtedly there. So, second pistol could be big for Navi if they want to get right back on track. Join us. After the break? Nope. Now. Right now. All right. <clears throat> Strauss T side, known to be quite organized, but look at all the targets here from the CTs in different locations, all looking to take their duels, fair enough. But uh, ramp, it's, there's no one here at all. However, they've rotated two down. They're trying to read into the situation. Device will find a kill upstairs. This opens up lines to the back of heaven. It makes things a little bit sketchy, and Device will find another kill as well. Long range. You, uh, uh, P250, though. Oh, poor Boomage. They gonna... Yeah, yeah they're gonna swarm up. Oh, boy. Yeah, insta-kill. Damn. Okay, so this is the only problem, of course. You know, Navi tried to play it, like, not in the ramp, but two rotating down early. Lay that trap, let them rotate in. But then Astralis, they find the kills outside, it changes the game completely. They play off of that information. Flamey and Perfecto will have to save. Quick 10-6 here for Astralis. After, again, quite a competitive first half. What were we looking at in terms of rounds, like... How fast did we get the six for for uh, Navi? Uh, it was, uh, Navi were leading. Yeah, it was six six at one point. It was five three at one point. Okay. So five three six six. Yep. Something like that. Super close. Four rounds in a row to close for Astralis. A fifth in a row if you count this here pistol. Kind of what happened on Inferno as well. Small lead from Navi. They answered back. Got the end, last three rounds of the half on Inferno. Yeah. Maybe yeah, remember, they, even with that 16-14 win, right? We had Navi win both pistols yeah. and convert for 3-0 starts. And of course, like, I think what we've heard from Magisk is that they are... It, it, they're, they're talking about Glaive calling again as, as if he's, like, readjusting to calling again. Which is kind of interesting rhetoric to me because uh, it would, it would, you would think that would be plug and play. But, you know, I think... I guess with the amount of stuff there uh, and how long Glaive hasn't actually called for... There is an adjustment period, so, you know, I don't know. I guess he wasn't playing. I bet maybe he wasn't calling versus Navi the last time they played against each other at Beijing. Which I guess it's quite a serious ordeal. And maybe that's why we're seeing these slow starts in these halves. I don't know. Of course, we are talking here about Navi's map pick. But not a... Not a Easy veto to win, no matter how many ways you slice it. Glaive looking for the credit card swipe, the classic. But he's got the black card. He swipes every day. Flashbang out for the push, and Flamey trying to get ahead of it with the MP9. He's definitely outgunned in this position, especially with oh Glaive coming in from this flank. So They're just trying to draw attention for Glaive. <laughs> Flamey, he thought he had a chance. Little did he know. It's simple all the while. I believe he was just spotted. Now dead at the hands of Bubski. Device gonna late lurk and lobby. Perfecto should walk right into this. And we've got Astralis with an easy 11th round. You know, I don't want to say anything disparaging about Navi and the way that they played, but I like, I still want to say like the way that Astralis played this anti-eco, it's a bit more effective in the sense that they try to push and pull something from the CTs, right? I feel like from we contrast that to Navi's Antiquos in the first half. They just waited, 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 and then entered a site if no one made a huge mistake or glaring error from the side of Astralis. And that's why some of the rounds played out for so long. Whereas Astralis, they take a small risk here in this Antiquo, but they use it to try to at least game a rotation or get a piece of map control. I feel like it looks a little bit better to me. So we're seeing another go of it. Let's see what some of the ideas are. Some early damage onto Perfecto. Nothing special in terms of the stack from the CT side. Couple players on A, one outside, one lower. And Astralis themselves looking to see if a push is coming out from Navi. Not going for any aggressive play outside or any rap like Glaive was doing last time around. Finally, some commitment here through the ramp, but damage done to device means he'll slow his roll a little bit. 
Flamey just kind of jiggling around, looking for that angle. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. Called out. Molly will land at the feet of Simple as well, so that's going to push him further back from the A site. Very meticulous movements here from Astralis, not walking into the landmines of these pistol players. Now all of a sudden the fights start to unfold. Things are getting a little bit more hectic. Simple's able to pick up one kill, but then he dies. Glaive eventually taking a headshot into Electronic. And the B site is theirs very much for the taking. Perfecto's on the other side of the doors, but with a smoke in his face, he can't really contest this. There could be the peak from Decon, but of course it's held by Magisk. He was making sure Dupree did not die. 12-6. Well, we'll calling it a bit early there. Perfecto. The clutch god. Came into this year with uh, an incredible 1v1 statistic. Like, I think one of the best slots into a team that we saw. Like, not Navi wasn't always winning, but I've really had a lot of positive things to say about Perfecto as an individual. Him in the 1v1s, always playing smart. Him as solo site holds, doing a really good job. Not not huge on the, in the stats department, but I feel like definitely plays his role well. Right. I remember, I remember we were back in London for the Blast Spring Series, yeah. where that was his first event with the team, if I'm not mistaken, and they, they ate an early loss, but then ended up winning their group. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he had, he had big shoes to fill. And we thought to ourselves, this was another unproven player kind of making a jump up. Parallels to draw between him and Bit, honestly. But I would say Perfecto slotted in immediately. Yeah, like he slotted in. It felt like he had a lot of maturity, like very early on. Okay, well, there's tons of pressure here upstairs. It's really all a big fast. distraction. Make tons of noise. And oh, Dupree gets one over on Electronic. Usually very reliable when it comes to mini holding for that. But the, the accuracy was just too perfect for Dupree. Instant headshot. Now patience. Off of dropping in it. Yeah, he holds, you know. This, this is such a big kill. He doesn't have to worry about another mini player. He's waiting for uh, Navi to get very scared. Such an important piece to lose this early on. He's expecting Simple to maybe go for that Heaven Peak, but Simple dropped down to the bottom of the ladder, as you can see. Still tucked in on the base of Hell, which actually opens up a little bit of control for Dupree. Inside of that A site, what awaits him? We've got Perfecto pushed into the hut, so very much aware, of course, that Heaven is compromised. Boomich slips around through lobby. Navi on damage control. Nothing they can really do to regain outer at all. So they are very much just at the hands of Astralis. Simple. Oh my oh, god. He's going to run right up this ladder. The patience is sickening. And now scopes in, doubles down. And as he falls, regains control of the aim. Simple. Making it look easy. Damn. That was some beautiful work here. Up the ladder. On the clock. Putting in work. Oh, the four piece. I thought he aced. Perfecto stole one. That was a mow down and a half. Very collected move. And I'm thinking to myself, when he drops down and we watch Dupree walk into heaven, uh -huh. that, like, there's nothing they can do to stop this A site. Yeah, he forfeited his like, good position. Two right. guys peek on hut, and... But no, Simple slips up the ladder like it's nobody's business. And that, that is a curveball. Seventh round on the board for Navi. We get an immediate tactical timeout coming out of Astralis, mm -hmm. who still have money to buy, and then some... They still had a really strong start early on of the round, right? Tons of hut pressure, yep. the spams, all the nades to make it feel like an upper exec was coming to draw attention away. And then I think the idea was to have electronic, you know, shooting back at mini, maybe reloading in mini. Definitely. Sorry, shooting back at squeaky, reloading in mini, and then Dupree to drop. But Dupree still gets the kill, and that's Counter-Strike. It's, it's going to happen sometimes. Um, you know, it, but overall, with that amount of control that quickly. Yep. Yeah. Astralis in control of the game still at 12-7 and yeah. control of the series with a map advantage. But that right there, what you just saw, that's the simple factor. Sure. And it's not a one-and-done entity. Definitely not. Whoa, this is a quick cross. I don't know how well they could hear this. I think they might be able to react accordingly. We'll see if the rotations are coming. Boomich does not know. Yeah, they're not sure about this at all, actually. A little uncertainty could actually hurt them. Glaive right on the corner. MP9, great damage. Oh my god, De Boomich. And they can't even chase him down. He's low. Device is inside of the vents now. Well, he does incredibly well to get this kill. It'll eventually be Perfect. traded out, which is nice. Finds so cool. The right route of attack. Yeah, just plays it calmly. 
reroutes, comes in from Vent, catches him off guard. He was certain that Boomich was uncertain whether he had crossed or not. That could be the recovery they need. Yeah, they hold on to Vent control. Not too much has happened in terms of the rotations just yet. Simple's outside. Oh my god, it's his teammate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Talk about paranoid. Bubsky's able to slip around through the vent. Dupree, he's going to get caught by Simple. Device still in this position. Bubsky, he's going to win his duel versus Perfecto, but it costs him half his health. Now Device catches Flamey downstairs. You're kidding. That's the turning point. Two versus two, but the bomb, it still sits outside of Secret. And Bubsky, he's going to get caught out by Simple. Device on the peak. Simple with cover. And poor Device eats that flashbang. Simple factor. Back-to-back -back rounds. Yeah, fact. That was a very confusing round. Tough one to get a hold of. But they do a fine job of it. All because of Simple and his AUG putting that thing to work. I wonder if his teammate shot him from the heavens and he shot back. Or if he just really was seeing ghosts in the walls here. I thought I saw him take damage. It didn't seem that crazy. Because he was getting shot from outside too. So I don't know if he just didn't realize what direction it was coming from and heard bullets from up top. A little bit of frustration here from Dupree. Like to see the energy. Pistols out for Astralis. They're trying to go for the vent dive. Denied by Simple. The perfect grenade. Electronic comes through with a spray down as well. Oh. oh Slip that bomb, bomb in. Oh, you Don't got mind it. Yeah, me. That's all they care about. Just going to take a little money. Easy defuse, so a round win, of course, for Navi, as we would have all expected. But Astralis, a little bonus, a little injection of cash. Time to buy back. Oh, that's a pretty sweet situation. Thought that the vent dive got denied completely. Third man in had the bomb the whole time. Still no ops. Yes, no ops in play, which is interesting. What's but this on? AUG, I mean, he's not, I guess he doesn't, doesn't have a real reason to upgrade. The AUG is doing so well. Keeps the mobility high. You do have the ACOG. I mean, it's Retake. obviously a really, it's just a strong weapon. It's just a very good weapon. Was not nerfed into oblivion like its counterpart. Yeah. I like this forward position from Electronic. He's going to have players coming his way. He definitely heard that as well, right? Glaive's not uh, we'll not doing they... this quietly. He jumps up, misses it, and then that position from Simple is a perfect distraction. Wow. They don't even know Electronic's there. So a second player is going to start to walk up, and Magisk, he doesn't even Falls clear it. it. Yeah, it's just beautiful stuff here from the CT side setup wow. for Navi. When they need it the most. Hit him with the left-right. And here's where the desperation plays come in if you're Astralis. Try to make something happen. Well, this is one of the more convincing rounds we've seen. Very clean so far. Device Molotov over towards help and Demolished. Simple. Always seemingly in position to help. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he has so much freedom. You can see it. On the on the CT side and he uses it perfectly, right? Like they, they trust him with it. It's not selfish in any way. Like he's just always in a good spot to help. He knows where the next fight's gonna come. He's I mean he's playing device's role on the CT side, right? Where yeah. he's either heaven, he's outside a big garage. It's just he's he, moving along both axes. Definitely. You know? Garage, he wears to hell, hat. heaven, ramp. It's pretty much him. He's working with yeah, he's works with upstairs, he works with Flamey and Ramp, he works with electronic outside, whatever it takes. And he'll be in multiple positions in one round. So, okay. Navi, making the comeback happen. Four rounds in a row, looking to be on fire if they can close this one. We know why. Simple, top of the scoreboard, 21 kills at the moment. Coming off 30 on the last map, device 25. Both, yep. both yep. players, absolutely astronomical ratings in the last month. Device finished DreamHack Masters with a plus 117 KD, I believe. Nasty, nasty stuff. For clarity's sake, of course, device top of the scoreboard again this map. Time so it, time it, time it. Oh, he's not going to go for the spray. Oh, he wants to. That smoke's gonna come up. Oh no, way it ends up getting a kill for Dupree. That is ludicrous. Now, Tech Nine's gonna try it and charge headstrong into this. Tons of damage. Oh, he builds his gun just in the nick of time, falls back. Simple catching Bubsky. CZ spray for two. Takes Glaive's kneecap. And all of a sudden, the Stralis brought back to reality. They thought they were gonna have that quick push down into the B site, but it gets shut down by Navi, who are now on fire, and one round away from tying this game at 12. Now we're talking. 
Tell me how they run through that smoke and get caught up to the point that they jump on each other's heads and don't even push through. What on earth just happened there? Oh, like Power Rangers, they were super fusing. I can't believe Boomich didn't die. But I'm also glad that he doesn't get caught off guard again there. Drops the smoke down, stays alive. You know, should have been able to, to release it. He's been, he's been tested a couple of times on this outside crosses. They're not exactly getting the information fast enough or ever. But he also could be, you know, crack spotting a little bit more safely, dropping the smoke down when he sees him cross. Instead, he's just, oh, he's just kind of floating. Well, they poked the bear. Electronic wakes up. All to assist here. They're trying to pull his attention inside of Mini once again to assist with this. But now they have no one to catch lurks. A key part of these lower takes. Let's see how hard they commit. Look who's up to bat. He really is everywhere. Yeah. Scoped in already. If they go wide, he's in a spot of trouble. Let's see how tight the peak is. Ooh, they what almost the all line up. Oh! This is perfect. <gasps> Total shutdown at the hands of Simple. Glaive's going to pick that bomb back up, and then Boomich swings out with the MP9. He is everywhere <laughs> at all times. Man, it must be so fun to play Counter-Strike and be Simple. <laughs> No wonder he has like 20 million hours. He's right game. back into it. Dupree steps into the shot. <laughs> Device, his head wrecked. And that takes Simple up to 26 kills. And he's earned every single goddamn one of those kills. We are all tied up at 12, and we've got Astralis back onto pistols. He's going to try to charge down Flamey. Good for one kill. But that is an AK offered over to an armored Bubski. Mm -hmm. Double deagles and utilities. Astralis definitely have enough to make this round wonky. We've seen a couple of these slip through in both directions, to be fair. Ever since that simple AUG 4K coming up the ladder. Yep. Things have really gone south here for Astralis. The simple factor. Glaive just making sure his friends are his friends. Yeah. Bubsky's gonna open doors. Boomich right in position for it. Now Magis is gonna challenge with his Steagle. Also goes down Glaive. Yeah, he's gonna concede everything else other than the bomb plant. He realized they weren't getting anything more out of that one. So. 13 for Navi. This CT side making quite the comeback. Seven rounds in a row at this point. Now Navi in the lead. It's uh, This is where the real challenge starts, right? Like, this is what uh, Glaive... This is the reason Glaive is the caller that he is. When he gets this much information, he can usually find the solution. But, of course, you've just got to deal with the fact that simple is there. As you mentioned, the simple factor is something that we cannot stop talking about. He, uh, he can just break the fact that you might, you know, overall have a... Uh, a flawed setup. He can make up for uh, two of your teammates dying. He can be there in the clutch. And he's got an insane number of kills already so far in the series. 27 and 30 on the first. And this game isn't even over yet. A couple shots come through for Electronic. Utility all over the place is a big gun round for Astralis. They need to break this streak from Navi. In terms of kills, we have not seen more than one player die on Navi's side since the 20th round. In case things didn't feel bleak enough. I think this makes a lot of sense. These lower hits have been pretty good at catching Boomish off guard. He's floating again, and he'll just go one for one. It's electronic invent, finds Glaive with a grenade in his hand, sticks around, Dupree trades it, perfecto. He's gonna catch Bubski on that hut lurk, and it's into the off. Simple swaps, Flamey shuts them down. Oh, they get one trade at every turn. Listen, I understand why they want to go lower. It makes a lot of sense. Because they get this, Boomich is not playing it well. He keeps getting caught off guard. He's never crack spotting with the smoke. He's not in position to fall back. 
They take the one for one trades, but it's one for one, one for one. Electronics in place. Every one step for away. one. There's somebody who's picking them off at every turn, and it's just enough. It's just enough. And of course, the ramp rotations are there. Simple. He could be outside, but yeah. instead, he's ready on the other side of the ramp as well because he's been very smart about these rotations. And they're there just in time. And now they're in the power position. Things are really heating up here for Navi. They can feel it. We've got one more tack pause on Astralis after I, this one. I think if I'm Astralis, I'm probably thinking about doing a similar thing, at least in the beginning of the round. I would take advantage of the fact that this is an, a weakness that doesn't seem to be getting stronger for Navi. But then not burst into the bomb site right yeah, after? Yeah, exactly. Keep options open. Bubski activates his lurk very early on the upstairs site. Very true. And then gets caught off guard through the hut. That was one of their other outs in the round. Potentially, like, if they get the vent guy right, and Bubski is still available... Uh, upstairs, then they can come up the vent and hit it. But without that kill, it's just a completely different round. You have to know the upstairs site is clean. Simple leading the utility damage device right there with him. So these guys just taking over the scoreboard in all categories. There is so much money on Navi. They will be buying until the end of this game, no matter what. That last round, the most successful in terms of frags, and they still only got two. Stralis have struggled. Simple has been a big factor in that. This is interesting, because they throw the cross smokes just to try to get these rotations. Now, one thing is, Stralis have crossed off these smokes so many times, Navi have never played in secret. There's another thing for them. So now they have to respect the fact they don't have information. Uh, and rotate early. So this is what Astralis are trying to game on them right now. But I think right now they've got uh, a little bit of ramp control as well. Deep ramp control here for Flamey. Oh, Boomich sees nothing outside. But there's two players close. Got that second flash. Oh, but he's not seeing anybody. Nope. Now they're going to go ahead and just try and slide in behind him. We get that fight from Flamey. Aggression off of the ramp. Now Glaive's going to get activated into the A site. We just had a player dive down Vent. I, nope, it's Boomich still on site. Simple. He's going to cut down Magus. Perfecto. Easy pickup. It's Glaive through Mini, but that's all they've had. The only thing going for Astralis is Glaive catching a kill through Mini. Individual fights all across the map for Na'Vi, one after another. They have brought this game back. Damn. This is now nine rounds in a row. Damn. And they're about to hit a tenth to close, 16-12. Very smart, I guess. Na'Vi, they didn't move too much. They had Flamey push up to ramp in case there was going to be some kind of split through ramp. But he's there ready for the lobby squeeze. And he wins this duel versus a peaking device. That's a big one. And then, of course, Simple, he's still upstairs as well. They're waiting for this. They actually just outcall Gla out out Glaive completely. And they double flash outside. They don't see anything, but they still hold their nerf completely. They do it off of low, in low information, but they, they realize that Astralis have been getting away with this thing with Secret over and over again. They could have just gone Secret in that round, and it would have been a scary round for Navi, but again, the read is just perfect. Three chances to close this. Working off a lack of utility and guns. No real solution. They've tried different things. They thought it was maybe going to be that secret stairs entry. Always a problem. It maybe failed too many times with a good opportunity there and didn't open up a chance for them anywhere else. Yeah, it feels like you're just getting closer and closer, but all of a sudden, Navi, they've added so many rounds to the board. See, finally, this looked like a ramp play. Let's take a look at Boomich here. So, yeah, okay, finally he's crack spotting. It's still, there's a little bit of timing here, but he'll finally get the smoke off safely. And this is all they were trying to do before. Simple's boosted on boxes and ramp, so I think that opens up a rotate from Flamey. He can really just leave if needed. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Keep eyes out. Hmm. Like you said, get down into secret, which they're on the cusp of, this but leave good. options it, open. It's coming to simple, though. Yeah, they'll, they'll definitely try to split lower now. 
And they haven't really done enough to keep the B players uncomfortable. Boomich, he's just going to reposition over towards the double doors. Astralis yet to show themselves. 25 seconds on the clock. This one could just hit a brick wall in the name of Simple. Boomich, he finds that first kill. Now Ramp starts to activate. They're met by Utility. Simple, he's swooping in on him. Two kills, almost the third. Dupree, incredibly low already. He has two points of health to try and stop Navi from reverse sweeping this CT side. Ten rounds in a row. That was a really sick CT side end for Navi. That's when Astralis should get the most clutch, and it felt like it.